Uh, Robert Elston, listening to the Whippets and Flat Claps podcast, John Wilkin, Will Perry and Mark Flanagan. So those guys do a wiki podcast, they had Robert Elston on, and he said uh, that after the TV deal, one of his main priorities was finding four or five individuals with really deep pockets to either take over existing clubs or bring new clubs into Super League. So firstly, what's your thoughts on that? Taking over Super League clubs, existing Super League clubs, mc at wakefieldtrinity.com. <laughs> Just email me. We'll take, we'll take anybody's money. Anybody that wants to come and buy a rugby league club, there we are. Um, like, uh, it can only be good for the game, can't yeah. it? If you've, got, if you've got an individual that wants to spend some of the money that he has earned over his lifetime yeah. on, a, on, on a rugby league club, it can only be good for the game. What I would caveat that with is what we've had at, at Wakefield. That I've always had the worry that if an owner walks away, yeah. then the club potentially goes bust. I think there's got to be some sort of rules and caveats in place where say that if you're gonna if you're gonna fund this club and you're gonna spend this amount of money, then you've got to safeguard it for at least say two or three years and then it, it just doesn't suddenly fall off a cliff if this guy gets bored. So, so you've got you've got somebody there who's leading the game forward, saying four or five individuals, deep pockets. Yeah, as a game, we've recently lost or let go or mismanaged Derek Beaumont. Marwan Kukash, two individuals who spent their own money uh, on their clubs. So, where does did, what was your thoughts on those guys leaving? What's your thoughts on those guys as owners? You had to sit in Super League meetings with them, I'm sure. Yeah. And hear them shouting the odds and everything else. And yeah. Obviously, now they're pretty, Marwan especially is pretty active on Twitter, yet mm. he's not involved at the moment. Yeah. So, what's your thoughts on that? And obviously, those guys with deep pockets are leaving the sport. I think with Marwan, I, you know, I guess. He didn't see that. It comes. I seem to say this all the time. It doesn't. He doesn't seem to have got value for money for the, for the money that he's put in. Um, I think he was probably unrealistically expecting success a little bit quicker than than what he got. I would think undoubtedly he will say that he got some things wrong. Probably not publicly, but privately, got some things wrong. Um, you know, and it, it, it probably just didn't work out for him at Salford. With Derek, I, I spoke to him a couple of weeks ago. I, I'm not sure he's, I think he got, just got a little bit tired of it all. Um, I know his, his family's massively important to him. Yeah. And if that's, if rugby league is detracting from your family life, then it's time to go. And the amount of money he put in as well, I mean, massive amounts of money. Uh, and unfortunately, you know, they didn't get in the top four and that's caused this, uh, again, kind of falling off a cliff concept um, where Derek, has, in my opinion, has done the right thing. He's realised he's got a problem for next year. Uh, you know, money-wise, and, and doesn't feel able that he can fill that bridge. So, or f sorry, fill that gap. Um, so he's done the right thing. He's, he's come out. He's said it. He's said to the players, "Get yourself another gig if you can," and try to look after everybody. Um, you know, so it's it's a massive shame, but uh, we can't tell Derek how to spend his money.